As project managers, we need to influence and persuade without authority. So what does that leave? Just our personal presence and our words. Here are 10 ways to use language so people listen, take note and act on what you say. I want to introduce you to some of the ways that you can use language powerfully to get attention, to hold attention and to make use of that attention. Words matter and so does how you use them. These tips will serve you in both spoken and written language and in both formal and informal contexts. Number one, because. Arguably, because is the most powerful word in the English language. It answers the most powerful, profound and most frequently asked question. Why? We all ask the question why constantly, sometimes out loud more often, particularly as adults, in our heads. But the simple truth is that without a good beefy because to answer the question why that's going on in our minds, we will never be motivated to do anything. Number two, stories. Humankind is a storytelling creature and stories are a powerful way to work with people's understanding and their emotions. Audiences from a single person to the millions of people who may watch a movie are entranced by stories. They package up meaning, explanation, emotion, empathy and excitement all into one narrative. They compel us to listen. They persuade us through demonstration and they have the power to move us to tears, to laughter and to action. Number three, emotion. Aristotle knew this. Character gives you the right to be heard and facts give you the right to be believed. But it's emotions that govern how your audience will respond to what you say. So don't be afraid of well-chosen emotional language because when it supports your argument, it will stimulate the choices that you want. Number four, pictures. Pictures are a language all in themselves and they can often say more than written or spoken language words ever can. But if it's words that you have available, then use them to paint pictures, to sketch out images and to colour in the details of the world around you. Number five, patterns. Patterns of language can stimulate behaviour. Watch the speeches of politicians at conferences and see how easily the audience knows when to applaud, when to cheer and when to boo. What does this are the patterns of the speaker's words and the rhythms that create those patterns. And don't forget that poor speakers can sometimes discover to their cost the hypnotic language patterns that trigger a trance. Number six, pronouns. Your choice between words like I and me, we and us, or you can make a big difference to how your words are perceived. Use words like we, us and our when you want to create a sense of shared responsibility or complicity or mutual support. Use words like I, me or my when you want to be absolutely clear that you are taking responsibility for something. And use you and your 
when you want to put the focus on your audience, who may well find me, me, me dull. Number seven, presupposing. Compare if you watch to the end of this video with when you get to the end of this video. The second version presupposes that you will watch to the end of the video. It's more likely to encourage action because it expresses confidence and expectation. People tend to do what we expect of them, especially if the effort is low. So expect, be confident about, and presuppose the actions that you desire. Number eight, fear. If you don't watch to the end of this video, you'll miss the most important tip. That's actually true. But the important thing here is that psychologists have learned that fear is a huge motivator, particularly fear of loss. Missing something, losing out on something that is naturally yours, is a huge motivator to action. By the way, that's why words like guarantee are also powerful motivators, because they remove a sense of fear and help an audience to feel safe in your hands. Number nine, timing. Human beings crave instant gratification, and we will often trade a better result in the future for a lesser result now. So words like now, instant and immediate are used by advertisers to satisfy that craving for instant gratification. This is something to be aware of when you're making your presentation. Number 10, novelty. Most people are attracted to novelty. Think of the excitement when a new product is coming out or a new version. And think of the disappointment when we discover it doesn't have enough new features. New carries with it the veneer of excitement and the opportunity to be first. But we also like words like trusted and proven because it takes away some of the risk. It takes away some of the excitement too. So understand what's more important to your audience. Number 11. In a list of 10 things, there's just one more thing. Now, this one feels special. The one more thing factor confers a special privilege on the final tip. It's an extra convincer in an argument or a last sweetener in a negotiated deal. It's also why a PS in your emails or letters will always get read. And when you're speaking, one more thing draws your audience in to pay more attention to this last thing, even though their alertness was starting to diminish. When I was younger, it sometimes felt that I just could not get my ideas heard at work. They were often good ideas and I expressed them clearly. I, I just couldn't seem to get my point across. I was frustrated by my lack of impact, which made me angry and sometimes upset. Does the same thing happen to you? And how does it feel when it does? That's why I wrote How to Speak So People Listen. It's filled with tips and advice for anyone who needs to speak out loud to small groups or large in a work environment. It's filled with checklists, ideas, models and tools that you can use in your day to day work. I'll put a link to the book in the description that goes with this video. Do take a look at it. It's based on a lifetime of experience and research. And I put the ideas in a clear, distinctive and easy to read way. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell 
you don't miss any of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.